Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, MLS staff for the hard work uh, on this issue and my fellow committee members as, uh, that put uh, their partition politics aside to bring this uh, compromise that was reached at the end in a very unanimous way at the committee level. And I'm very proud of that outcome. Now, as chair of the committee, I was advised by the mayor's office that he will respect the will of the committee as he has done in the past and we will have an open vote. And I, th and I thank the mayor for that, for sticking to that as well and for that level of support. Madam Speaker, in terms of community consultation, as you know, as a member of uh, the committee as well, we had twice community consultations with all the stakeholders. We, we had great uh, turnouts, and, and we were able to listen to deputants from both sides on this issue. We read different legal opinions, and we went through numerous articles and staff reports. So there was a lot of thought put into it. Hundreds of Torontonians, my friends, they expressed their desire to affect change. Change on important issues that are important to all of us, not only as human beings, but also as, as citizens of the world. It is, it is also important to understand that we used to kill elephants for their tasks, bears for their gallbladders, and rhinos for their horns. But we don't do that any longer. Why? Because we recognize that we have to do our best as citizens of the world to preserve what's good for us as well as for future generations. And that's something that we should all be very proud of. There were some comments raised in terms of, shall we tell people what to eat? This is not a la carte program that was a total failure and we deal at the licensing standards before. This is something else of a higher magnitude. This proposed by law will complement similar legislation that's been passed in other jurisdictions, like in California, in the Washington State, Oregon, Hawaii, and more recently in Mississauga, where the resolution was passed unanimously. In the end, I am convinced that by choosing to move forward with this by law, Toronto will encourage other jurisdictions and eventually the federal government to do the same. And one of the recommendations in one of the, series of the MLS reports calls exactly for that, asking the federal government to, to pass legislation on that. So we are not deviating from what's been recommended. My friends, this is not about culture. This is about doing the right thing. And in my opinion, and I should say my humble opinion, this is the right thing to do. And that's one of the reasons that I'm asking you for your support. This is the right thing to do, my friends. Thank you. And I would like to move the recommendations today that are before us. Sorry about that. Thank you.